nervous, my dear? A bit. Mostly I feel silly in this dress. Isabel, we're here to celebrate, not to climb trees in the orchard. Besides, you look radiant. Elrath himself smiles on the Griffin Empire today. We are gathered here today to witness the marriage of our beloved sovereign, Nikolai, King of our Holy Empire, to our fair lady, Isabel, Jewel of the Greyhound Duchy. Alright, Mr. Nigren here, welcome to Heroes 5 of Might and Magic. Alright, a game from 2006, but this has all the expansions in one game. I have all three expansions. I believe I bought Heroes, 3, uh, Heroes 5 back in 2006, then I bought the Tribes of the East expansion later, but I never bought the Hammers of Fate Dwarven expansion. However, did buy the complete edition later and uh, it included the dwarves too but this is a mod version 5.66c of the mod it enhances the game in every way you have all the missions these are the original ones i believe i finished the queen where you play as the humans and i finished the cultists too the cultist plays the demons and then i believe i wear somewhere uh, playing as the undead i believe the necromancer i never finished it, I believe. I never finished the entire game. Uh, I never owned this separately and I never played the complete edition, but I did buy it. Okay, and Tribes of the East, I had a single expansion pack, it was standalone, but never played it, so in essence I've only played these three. Then I played a bunch of skirmishes, these other factions. So I, I wanted to finish the story in this game, too. Difficulty level could be normal. We'll play the Queen. We'll play the first mission. Graphics have been increased thanks to the mod. Alright, mission one, the Queen. <coughs> the invasion of the demons is uh, grim news for the Griffin Empire. King Nikolai has been forced to postpone his wedding, rushing to the front lines to lead his knights into battle. Waiting uh, expectantly in the safety of the summer uh, palace at uh, White Cliff, Lady Isabel revives, receives uh, joyless tidings. Okay. This game is the first 3D Heroes of Might and Magic game and the only good one. I have the 6th and 7th game too, but they 
we aren't as popular, unfortunately. This is still quite all. They do not move their mouths or eyes, etc. They do not blink their eyes or move their mouths when they speak, so it's still very all. Would look even worse if it weren't for the mod. The resolution of the textures have been much increased. So there is a Mountain Blade uh, Warband mod being developed using models in this game. It would be pretty cool playing Mountain Blade Warband with these models, but uh, that they are only like two developers, it will take forever until they finish the mod. And uh, currently they have only added the uh, humans and the uh, undead, and it's not released yet. But I've seen videos and pictures, looks really good. Of course it won't be great until they have like all the factions and such. We'll see if that will happen, they might be shut down by the the owners before they they're finished. Who knows? You've been acting a bit oddly, Beatrice. Are you feeling well? Me? Oh, well, it's... I'm... homesick, I suppose. Feeling edgy and bored. It may be boring, ladies, but at least it is far from the war. Not for long. Another messenger arrived this morning. The demons have taken Hardwick and Thornham. Either we go to war... Or war comes to us. Any news of Nikolai? He's fine. But, milady, he's young and unsure of himself. He's too embarrassed to ask for help. I know he forbade us to leave. And we shall obey him. Young or not, he is the king. You were ordered here, and I was ordered to protect you. It's quite simple. But the Empire is in peril! Shouldn't we do something? Why was Nikolai so opposed to asking the Elves and the Mages for help? Or the Dwarves? The Elves have been slow to recover from the last war. The Mages? Blasphemers led by Cyrus. A man with delusions of godhood. Besides, Nikolai hasn't forgotten that Alaron and Cyrus came back alive from the War of the Eclipse, but his own father did not. Still, if he were here, he might command us differently. Perhaps, if it really is that bad. Two more towns, Godric. How bad must it be? Please, Godric, though you do not like him, take word to Archmage Cyrus. Their magic would be of great help against the demons. There is wisdom in what you say, but that Cyrus and the king's orders... For the Empire, Godric, which is greater than any one king, even one we love so dearly. As you wish, milady. Griffin Eternal! And what about us? Shall we take word to the elves? You should. You have the wisdom to negotiate with Alaron, and are practiced in the art of diplomacy. As for me, I've always felt more comfortable in a camp than at court. But we could go together. Me? Go to Ireland? Beatrice, I'm surprised at you. At the Abbey, you were so overprotective. You'll stay here, then? Not at all. I shall raise the militia. That is more suitable to my talents. That's too dangerous. I shall be surrounded by soldiers in the heart of the Griffin Empire. Safer than anywhere else, I think. As my queen commands. Go quickly. You will find me somewhere between here and the battlefield. To war! Ah! Alright. 
So here is my thematic tree has the best music I believe and also some of the best gameplay but it's too difficult in my opinion. Uh, the fourth game is also very difficult while well, this game is much easier that's why I prefer this one plus it has the better graphics it has the 3D graphics but as we saw the, the models do not move their mouths and do not blink their eyes so it's still an old game dear player welcome to the new campaign revision of Might and Magic Heroes 5.5 please be aware of the following to make sure you don't run into any issues if you are planning to play through all campaigns one, always play the game loading M MMH 5.5.exe five five or, yeah, do not use Steam Launcher if you load the wrong .exe and cause AI bugs. Alright. All your equipped artifacts will carry over between missions except movement artifacts, skill books, gold bags, wands, scrolls, and the tear of Asha. And equipped artifacts will be lost. Three hero level caps are higher. The default battlefield size is 14x12 instead of 12x10. And neutral stacks will be mixed in all missions. 4. Trading posts can sell you mana potions and movement potions. Advanced RMG or RMG features such as time conversion, governance, dimension doors, and mind control are disabled. As they conflict with the original storytelling and objectives. Okay. And I'm using Steam, but I'm not using the game on Steam. I've added the non Steam game to the Steam launcher used to be able to use the streaming feature. <laughs> so I believe I'm still using the 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 exit that isn't Steam, so to speak, to, lo to run the game. Let's move down here. We'll have them join. Peasant there. The problem with this game was that it took forever to do stuff. Ah, nothing to do there, okay. Um, then we'll move down again. Uh, so the problem with this game was that it took forever for the AI to move and stuff and playing skirmishes, but I believe that the mod has fixed all those issues. Okay, let's move down. Play this game earlier today. I played through this entire mission, but I didn't record, that's why I restarted it. Just try the game using Steam to see if it worked. Get the gold over here. Move over there. Get some new followers. Had to end the turn. <coughs> Will join us too. We'll move here, get some more. Yes, join. Down to the tower. <coughs> and the town. Hire some more troops. Go down there. Have them join too. More peasants. Oh, we need to check that. The town. Go down there. Get some more followers. Oh, they might actually attack us. We don't want you here. 
What do you mean by this disobedience? They say the war goes badly, milady. We hear that the demons are killing everything and eating the dead. We don't want to go. Cowards! The Griffin Empire shall emerge victorious. Well then, they can do it without us. We're staying here. Now get off our land. You will fulfill your oaths to your lord, even if you must do it in chains. Take them! Alright, the battle. Tactics mode. We have one minute where we can uh, place our troops. But, uh, yeah. We'll just attack with the hero. See, in this game, heroes can attack just like in the fourth game, but they cannot move on the actual grid. Instead, uh, they can only attack automatically and uh, buff the troops. But they can't really move on the battlefield, they are in the corner. <coughs> of the game all the time, so it's less like uh, you can't move the heroes as much as in the fourth game. They are less playable, but they can still attack. Unlike in the third game, we'll have these guys join too. Move down towards that tower, and we'll get more troops. Hire these guys too. We get advanced combat. The tower as well. Over there. Over there. Have these guys join. In the town. Into the forest. They are probably enemies of deer. We will attack, we get the gold. <coughs> we'll start the battle. Counts to mean. You can also move to the side, unlike in the next game, the six, uh, sixth game where you couldn't really move the camera like this. Also in battle, the camera zooms in on the action, which is cool. That wasn't the case in the next game either. The reason I'm playing the fifth game is because it's easier than the other games. Than the fourth and the third. And the sixth and seventh game aren't very popular. If I have them too, I might play them just because I bought them. I have never really played them much. But uh, I believe I play the fifth game first. The mod. The problem with the sixth and seventh game is that they were like unmodable. And I needed a user to be able to start the game. A user on a particular site, I believe. Battle! Good. Don't need to save any replays, we'll take the gold now. Alright, let's continue. Deeper into the forest, we'll attack these guys too. Unlike in the fourth and third game, we can't place the troops under AI control, so we need to do all the moves ourselves in the fifth game. In the fourth game, it's not worth it to, to let the AI control the troops, they would uh, often kill their heroes by suiciding them. But in the third game, it's worth it, because the AI was actually competent in the third game. It's also worth it if you do not have heroes in the fourth game. The only game where you do not have, uh, where you do not need to have the heroes in the battle. So it could be worth it if you have, uh, if you play the fourth game and you do not have any hero in the army, and you can just let the AI control the troops. Good, we won the battle. get 
some troops over there. And peasants join. Guys, no, we will have them join us. And the turn. Oh, here we have some enemies. We'll attack, and get the gold. Start the battle immediately. I like that the battle um, camera view zooms in like this when they attack. It, it doesn't do that in the, in the later games. <coughs> I have some armored peasants now too. these guys Sources of the land. Go to that peasant next. Maybe join. Expect combat to be taken over there. Have some peasants join there too. Back to the road. And the town. First, the soldiers, get them to join us, and we'll attack the skeleton. Um, okay, start the battle. We have a lot of peasants now, 118 of them. So in Heroes of Might and Magic, all the armies are represented by numbers. You only have one unit on the battlefield, and then you have numbers. So you have 118 peasants, 25 knights, 5, uh, like, Surgeons and 12 armored peasants. Okay, let's attack the hero Isabel. Move, move the peasant and the troops. Alright, let's attack Isabel again. Peasants, the normal peasants, the soldiers, the surgeons. 
I have a bowman. Okay, let's tag the bowman with Isabel. Move the armored peasants. Okay, now we can attack the soldiers. Kill that guy. Good. We'll attack the other skeleton with the peasants. We won. Good. We won the battle. We'll get the chest over here. Thousand gold pieces. And 500 experience is better, I think. Okay, and the turn. There. And the final battle of the mission. We we'll fight more numerous troops of the enemy. All of them are humans, so they are uh, like rebels. You can use a spell haste. Cause a deselected friendly unit to act more frequently in combat. The target is under influence of the slow spell. Both effects will remain active, and the difference in strength of the cast casters will determine the result. Okay, we will use this on the. Fuck, they got to act first. Use this on the peasant. No, we can't. We are controlling the peasant. Okay, let's move the peasants. I will use her spell the peasants, 118 of them. Okay, now we can attack the soldiers. Okay. The surgeon towards the other farmer guy. Attack with the farmers now. Isabel, armored peasants. <coughs> oh, you yeah, probably won soon. Only three peasants remaining. Enemy. Oh, we won there. Yeah. One more enemy to defeat. That sergeant is an enemy. No. You have a soldier enemy there. Okay. Oh, they killed our armored peasant. The bell will attack now. Still have two units. Okay. Attack the soldiers. Attack Isabel. Sergeant. Attack their armored peasants and kill them. Good. We'll attack it, Isabel. Peasant. We won the battle. Perfect. And now we'll get advanced defense with Isabel. Okay. Not need this 
up in a thing. That should be enough troops, I think. But if I don't lead them myself, they'll desert along the way. I'll be with you soon, Nikolai. Hooray! Within the tunnel! Alright, mission completed. Con congratulations, you have completed a mission. M one month, three weeks, five days, resource collected. Okay. Mission 2 Rebellion. The path to the front lines through the ruined lands of the Griffin Empire, where rumor and uh, superstition run rampant. The Queen will have to strengthen her forces and persuade descent centers if she hopes to continue on her path. Shows bonus. Well, we can get some more footmen. The town of Strongbow is well named. The best archers live there, and I need archers for my army. This game reminds me of Spell Force because the models do not move any. Uh, facial expressions, they do not move their mouth, they do not blink their eyes and such. It's very similar, but it looks slightly better. So I played a bit out of this mission too. I got the town, I believe. Played most of this mission, maybe I even played all of it. Let's save the game here. Played it earlier today. Rebellion, how to save, yeah. Save the game. So, 15 to 1. Alright, we'll end here.